Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I'm um, talking to you today um, during the opening uh, of the Lyran Stargate. And um, some things have come to me uh, that will be helpful, I think, for all, all humankind. Um, but first, let me tell you what I learned from Judy Satori. Uh, about the Lyran Stargate and the, and the people of Lyra. Of course, there's probably a million other things to say. But the thing that struck me from her book, Sunshine Before the Dawn, was that the women of Lyra, I hope I got it right, weave the dream time strands of DNA. And so, um, you can imagine how they open the door to the infinite in all creation and and what a wonderful quality of creation they have so that's that's who I imagine I'm talking to when I speak to the to the Lyran Stargate and um, and today I'll tell you what I was asking now I think this can be generalized to any time we we enter a Stargate like um, Sandra Walter says, uh, in 2015 we can expect that kind of energy at the two equinoxes, spring equinox and fall equinox, and who knows when else, you know. So, so we'll just have to wait and see on the rest of it. So, these are times of great opportunity to communicate with our brethren of the stars and, and to bring in light to earth that will be helpful to to us and and to serve the purpose of all beings of love and light by transforming energy here and never think that that what we do here affects only us because in uplifting our fellow beings in our in feeling our own hearts and in and uplifting just just the earth here just just by uplifting the earth, we uplift the all, this entire universe. So our work here is, is, is important work. It's wonderful work and it's a wonderful honor to undertake it. Now, to get down to the things I was asking today, and you can pick from them what it is that, that seems right to you. Let me see. Whenever I ask for something, I always say at the end of it, I add a codicil. Um, I say, if it's in the best interest of all beings of love and light, okay? So, and then I say, and, and if it's according to the law of free will. So sometimes I shorten that and I say, um, um, optimum, love and light, free will. But I said the other the long way so many times that, um, and I've also said, I'd like it to be known that whenever I make a request, this codicil applies. So I'm covered in any instance. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want whatever I do to serve the all, to serve all beings of love and light. And I, I never want to go against the dictates of free will. So, so that's that's just the very first thing that I that I that I think of when I ask for something. So now to get down to specifics. I'd like to speak to my brethren and sisters of the stars. Please send me through the Lyran Stargate all star knowledge that I will need. And may it be passed on to all the peoples of Earth, all beings of love and light. And then I add, if it's in the best interests, of all beings of love and light 
for all timelines. Or for the optimum number of timelines. And if it's according to the law of free will. Next. Let's see, star knowledge. May the DNA of all human beings be restored to health, to optimum health, and upgraded in all timelines. May my physical body be completely healthy. May my emotional body be full of joy. May my astral body be free of dark implants. May my etheric net be free of tangles. May my body of light be free of darkness. May my soul be free of trauma. May this be true for all beings of light everywhere, all beings of light and love. Gift me with the languages of light. May I pass this knowledge on to all beings of light and love. Optimize my soul purpose and soul mission for the good of all beings of light and love. Cancel all contracts and marriages. Cancel all vows of poverty and celibacy. May this be true for all beings of light and love, always keeping to the law of free will. May free will be restored to all beings of light and love. May they feel the fullness of their hearts and the majesty of their souls. May they not hear the words of beings not of love and light. Spirit to team, team to teams, teams to spirits all over earth. Inquire whether they agree Now, at this point, you have to pause and wait for the inquiries to take place. And then, if, the, if after the inquiries take place, what happens is a, sh a shift. Things shift all over Earth. So then I came to the end of my requests, and I said, in deepest gratitude, for the friendship of our star brothers and sisters. I speak. May my words uplift thee all.